Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about ambiguous grammar in theory of computation and finite languages and automata theory. It is one of the most important concept that can be asked in several examinations. So that please carefully understand this concept. In the previous video, we are already solved one example problem on ambiguous grammar with definition also. Anybody wants, please refer that video in my YouTube channel, Divela Srinivasarao. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about one more example problem on ambiguous grammar. So this is the given problem. Check the following grammar is ambiguous grammar or not for the string AB AB. The given context speak grammar is S tends to AS BS or BS AS or epsilon. So before going to that problem, first of all, what is ambiguous grammar? For the given terminal string, if the given context-free grammar generates two different leftmost derivation trees or two different rightmost derivation trees, then that given grammar is called as ambiguous grammar. Otherwise, it is called as unambiguous grammar. Okay. The given terminal string is AB AB. For that one, this grammar generates two different leftmost derivations or a rightmost derivation trees. Then that given context-free grammar is called as ambiguous grammar. Otherwise, it is called as unambiguous grammar. In the previous problem, we have to consider two leftmost derivation trees. But in this problem, we have to consider two rightmost derivation trees. Now, first rightmost derivation tree. Rightmost derivation tree. We are always concentrate on rightmost non-terminal in the rightmost derivation. Okay. Now, first I am taking this production S tends to AS BS. In this production, we are always replacing the rightmost non-terminal by using these productions. Now, here the rightmost non-terminal is this S. Now, we are substituting epsilon in the place of rightmost non-terminal. So, then the above production becomes AS B epsilon. We already know that epsilon derives nothing so that the above production becomes A, S, B. Now, the rightmost non-terminal is S. We are substituting the production B, S, A, S in the place of rightmost non-terminal. So, the above production becomes A, B, S, A, S, B after substituting BS AS in the place of S. Yes. Okay. Then, what is the rightmost non-terminal here? So, this S. So, substitute epsilon in the place of rightmost non-terminal S. Yes. Now, the above production becomes AB SA epsilon b. We already know that epsilon derives nothing so that 
the above production becomes AB SA B. Now we the rightmost non-terminal is yes, so that we have to replace epsilon in the place of yes. So then the above production becomes AB epsilon AB. We already know that epsilon derives nothing so that the above production becomes AB AB. We are already got the given string AB AB by using the rightmost derivation tree. Now we have to write the rightmost derivation tree. First I am taking start symbol S. Yes. Okay. In that start symbol S we have to consider this production S tends to ASBS. So this is A, this is S and this is B and this is S. First we have to concentrate on rightmost non-terminal S. So substitute epsilon in the place of S. Okay. Next one the rightmost non-terminal is S. In the place of S, we have to substitute the production. So, BS, AS. Here, the rightmost non-terminal is this one. We have to substitute epsilon in the place of S. Next, the rightmost non-terminal is this S we have to substitute epsilon in the place of yes. So then epsilon derives uh, nothing so that we have to get the terminal string So this one. So epsilon derives nothing then we are getting so AB AB terminal string. Okay. This is the rightmost derivation tree. Now we have to do the second rightmost derivation tree. So second rightmost derivation tree. Now, first I am considering the production. So, S tends to AS, BS. Okay. So, in this one, the rightmost non-terminal is S. In the place of S, we are substituting S tends to AS BS S tends to AS BS after substituting AS BS the above production becomes this one next one here the rightmost non-terminal is here this S now we are substituting epsilon in the place of S. Yes. So then we are getting AS BA AS BA yes, B epsilon. We already know that epsilon derives nothing. The above production becomes AS BA yes, B. Next, the rightmost non-terminal is yes. Now, we have to substitute epsilon in the place of yes. Then, what we are getting? AS, BA, epsilon, B. We already know that epsilon derives nothing. Then, we are getting AS, 
BAB. The rightmost non terminal is yes, so we have to substitute epsilon in the place of yes. So then what we are getting? So A, A epsilon B, AB. We already know that epsilon derives nothing, so that we are getting AB, AB. So therefore, the terminal string AB, AB we are getting after substituting these productions. Now we have to draw the second rightmost derivation tree. So yes, which production we have to use here? AS, BS. So this is A, this is S, this is B, this is S. What is the rightmost non-terminal here? This one. Again, we have to substitute AS. BS in the place of rightmost non terminal S. Yes. Then, what is the rightmost non terminal here? This S, we have to substitute epsilon in the place of S. Yes. After that, what is the rightmost non terminal? This is the S, we have to substitute epsilon here. Then, what is the rightmost non terminal here? So, we have to substitute epsilon in the place of yes. So then we have to combine all the terminal symbols then we are getting the terminal string. So what is the terminal string we are getting? A epsilon B next A, next Epsilon, next B, next Epsilon. So we already know that Epsilon derives nothing. So that after removing the Epsilon, we are getting AB, AB terminal string by using rightmost derivation. Okay. Here also we are getting AB epsilon a b epsilon 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 derives nothing after eliminating the epsilons then we are getting the string a b a b so observe these two derivation trees these two derivation trees are two different rightmost derivations hence we can say that for the same terminal string AB, AB, two rightmost derivation trees are exist. So, two rightmost derivations are different. Then, this given grammar generates two different derivation, rightmost derivation trees for the given string. Then, the given grammar G is called as ambiguous grammar. So, therefore, S tends to AS, BS, BS, AS by epsilon is an ambiguous grammar because for the given terminal string AB, AB, the grammar generates two different rightmost derivation trees. Hence, we can say that the given grammar is called as ambiguous grammar. So, in this way, we have to solve the given problem. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section and also see the previous video for better understanding of ambiguous grammar. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divella Srinivasarao. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.